What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into tea room, voice for the people, and so real tea. Okay. First one we start with is the tea room. Jazz girl and Crystal running to each other at the club. Mm, let's get it. So now I'm pretty sure many of you guys remember the drama between India and Crystal. Now, India was dating Jazz and Crystal felt like it was shady because she used to actually talk to India about her relationship with Jazz. Now, India is the friend of Maya, which is Amar's ex-girlfriend. So this was the video that Jazz did where she was speaking on India and Maya. As far as <clears throat> the Maya shit. I wasn't even gonna speak on that. This girl done sat on the phone with me, then been on the phone with me and Maya multiple times. I done promoted this whole, I done promoted this girl fucking weight gain pills. I done sat on the phone with her, talked to her about my bitch, all type of shit. And yeah, that might be on me for oversharing, but bitch, you was definitely engaging in the conversation. You was definitely making it seem like you wanted to be cool. So I don't get where, oh, me and Crystal was never friends. Bitch, I sat on the phone and told you, you feel me? We on the phone discussing our niggas together. Are we not? Mm. But you don't owe me no loyalty. And it's not even about the loyalty, bitch. It's girl code. Now, apparently, it seems like an awkward situation occurred because Crystal and India were at the same club, feet away from each other in the same section. So you guys can see Crystal here with the green and white on. It's the same green and white that she posted on her Instagram. Now, Jazz was recently spotted with ray's ex-girlfriend but people notice that she's also been hanging back out with india i can't post the video here because of the india dancing day. and music but so real t did post <sighs> that video on youtube and you can see jazz in the background of india's video so it appears that she's back messing around with india as well but let's move on to this next topic with runix jazz is in the field and i ain't mad at it at all Hold on, let me change this right quick. <clears throat> Wait. All right. Sierra and Jessica. So you guys know Sierra and Runic are technically not together, but there is a lot of back and forth on the internet. Now Sierra is calling out Runic and Jessica. She states, it's the fact that this N-word flew to Orlando, Florida, and took Jessica, her sister, and her baby to Disney and couldn't even plan a trip for your son after you said you were all month. Now, even though Runic wasn't technically on a date with Jessica, Sierra felt betrayed by this because Sierra and Jessica <sighs> were DMing each other a few years back, as well as she stated... Yeah, they just really going through that young shit right now. This... This regular, like, I, I know it'll piss y'all off to hear me say that, but it is. Don't overshare information about your partner ever. Don't ever talk about your partner money. Don't ever talk about your partner sex, especially. If your partner got that good, good, keep it to yourself. One, one, one in the chat. Keep it to yourself. Trust me. I know. It, that Jessica is constantly sending her things about Runic. She states, and girl was the main one sending me ish of him. She posted a DM from Jessica, sending her some stuff on Runic. Now thing is, he took out Jessica's sister when he really wanted Jessica. Now Funny mm. Mike exposed that not too long ago. He don't want to let me put him on a blind date because he's a... Hey, hey, come on, bro. I can't spill him No. All right, cool. Go get uh, go get Cobra right there. Hey, please, bro. Don't I'm not, man, bro, I'm not gonna do you that. You my fucking big one, nigga. I'm not gonna rap. <laughs> hey, close that door for that Three, echo. Two, hey, Rooney, like Jessica. <laughs> So now Sierra posted this clip with Funny Mike and she stated, like, girl, wasn't he saying he wanted your sister? Everybody knew that was about to happen. And he couldn't pull. So you were his last option in Florida? All oh, y'all are all clowns. She states, so this N-word couldn't get the girl he wanted and took her ugly a sister and Damn. her baby to Disney with Jessica. At Runic really going out sad. Jessica, you are too. Then she posts of messages that she actually wrote Jessica's sister. Now, as you can see, it seems like Sierra is stating something about he wanted your sister and he couldn't pull her. So he went to you. Then the sister responded with anything else. Well, tonight 
he's at my home in my room in my bed then sierra responds wait with, a minute home. what then the sister responded with anything else well tonight he's at my home in my room in my bed Period. then sierra responds with Oh, he will be at your sister's next. Then she posted a photo of Jessica's <sighs> sister and stated, I would be mad as F. Damn, went to Florida for this? Now, anyways, you That's guys crazy. leave your opinions <laughs> no down in the comment section below. Now, at first I was like, why is Sierra upset with Jessica if Runic flew down there for the sister? Well, I'm guessing because she felt betrayed because she was talking to Jessica. And although Runic isn't necessarily with Jessica, because maybe Jessica won't give him the time of the day, she feels like that it's shady that Jessica is around runic and her sister so you guys leave your what opinions so on that down in the i could be around my sister i ain't got nothing to do with your man i don't care okay comment section below but let's move on to this next topic with carmen and Corey. so now although it hasn't been confirmed by right carmen yeah, we can all pretty much see that it appears that carmen and Corey are back together although they're still having their ups and downs because of course Corey is posting it appears that Carmen isn't completely over everything that happened. And I mean, I can see why Corey did a lot to Carmen during that breakup. I mean, he exposed a lot of her personal information. It's like I would never get back with that nigga. You call me an immigrant. A bad mom made it seem like I was starving my own children. <sighs> would never go back to that nigga. Some of the things that he did is almost <clears throat> unforgivable. Then he lied about the green card situation. I don't know if y'all seen recently he admitted to it. Uh, she's clean, which that's probably why she didn't address it in the first place. But that's ridiculous, bro. Like, But Carmen decided to forgive him. Now, Carmen was at Corey's car show and Corey issued a public apology to her. Yeah, you gotta apologize in public. So as you oh. I like I was you can see Carmen is standing there with Corey's dad and the kids. Now, not sure exactly what's the state of their relationship, if they're officially back together or if Carmen's just around for the kids, but I will say that. Carmen has been in Alabama with Corey for a few weeks now. Now they are headed back to Houston right now because Carmen is going to be doing a 20 V one. She's going to be actually hosting it for one of her friends. Now, again, you guys leave your opinions on this situation and everything else in this video. I want to know down in the comment section below. I sure had really just another thing that just kind of just gave me another more motivation i would say because it's like sometimes man one thing i can't say that boy hair could always be fly his clothes always look clean he always look clean well taken care of when well mannered type of dude in in that area not mannered as far as words but everything else but other than that <clears throat> um he was so upset at the time <sighs> niggas will say anything it's just coming to the internet saying anything that's the problem, but you know. This internet is like the devil. Y'all gotta understand that. It's good and it's bad. And I'm gonna say that like this. Sometimes you get on the internet, you'll never know who really fuck with you. And it's a lot of people out here that might genuinely fuck with you. But you know, I can I can say this. I fuck with a lot of people. But I don't comment on everybody's shit because I, it, it's, it's just too many people, you feel me? First of all, now, I, Oh, my God. Uh, nigga. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.